Tina. All right, everybody, welcome to our very first episode of Layers. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what is Layers? Well, Layers is getting a deep dive into certain particular characters, like video game characters, comic book characters, uh, action movie characters, uh, cartoon characters, the works. So we kind of give you um, origin stories, abilities, what they do, pretty much everything, and some fun facts to go with it. Sounds simple enough, right? All right, let's get down to it. Our very first episode is going to be on Peacemaker. If you're not familiar, you should be watching the James Gunn, The Suicide Squad. He's currently in that one, and he's being portrayed by John Cena. So, let's get down to it. Let's talk about who created him. Well, the two people that created him were Joe Gill and Pat Boyette. Now, keep to mind that uh, Peacemaker didn't start off at DC Comics. Actually, he started off in Charleston Comics, but unfortunately, due to some financial situations and struggles, Charleston Comics couldn't make it, and DC Comics bought the characters. Bought Questioning, Question, I guess, is one of the characters, Blue Beetle, and, of course, Peacemaker. Now, now that you got that out of the way, let's talk about a few things. Uh, let's talk about pretty much the basics. His gender is male, blue eyes, black hair, height is about over six feet. Pretty much the basics I wanted to give you guys. Now, he appeared as a background character first in the Fighting 5 issue 40 in November 1966. His appearance in DC Comics debuted in Crisis of Infinite Earth issue 6 in 1985, using a destroyed universe concept to reveal that Charleston Comics characters were on Earth 4 this whole time. Bum, dun, dun. His motives are driven by extremist form of pacifism, which makes him love peace so much that he would kill for it. Crazy, right? The new version of Peacemaker was now Christopher Schmidt, only son of Austrian munitions manufacturer Wolfgang Schmidt, and, of course, American children's book author Elizabeth Lewis, his mother. However, Christopher's life quickly changed as his father killed himself in front of him on his fifth birthday. His father was revealed to be, get this, a Nazi officer and responsible for deaths of over 50,000 innocent lives and soon would face prison for his crimes, but just couldn't do it. Ashamed of her husband's deeds, she fleed with Christopher and changed their last name to Smith. This experience alone would haunt Christopher as he had some mental illness and kept hearing his father through his helmet. Just so you guys know, the special helmet he wears. He joined the military and quickly moved up to sergeant. On one of his missions, he killed a small village of innocent people on the idea they were harboring North Vietnamese and was court-martialed and sentenced to prison after that. After over a year, the U.S. government offered him a job working on the project called Peacemaker, and the program shut down after eight months. So Christopher went to run his father's business and switched from ammunition and weaponry to household appliances. This made him millions and gave him the funds to create a charity called Pax Institute, which was designed to the interest of peace and providing social services to victims of terrorism the world over. His money also gave him the chance to create his own weapons and daunt the name Peacemaker. Now we got a little taste of what he is on origin wise. Now let's talk about some of the skills and facts about this character, right? So I know I'm probably going to get a lot of here and there on comment sections below about whether or not I'm right on certain things, but just so you guys know, there are many interpretations of comic book characters. This one's very small, but still not everything is factual. There's different. There's, I'm going to show you a photo here of what his comic his costume used to do, and now it doesn't really do that. I'm not sure. We'll see how the series goes, like I said. Um, so, let's talk about his skills. He has a flying fighter aircraft ability, so that means he can, he can fly an aircraft. He, can, he vents his own weapons. He's a master at that. Military background, including making sergeant and skilled gymnast. And let's talk about his weapons of choice and gear. He's six-piece chute called Peacemaker and a bulletproof helmet that operates various devices including communication, all-band radio, and surveillance devices, and ultrasonic blasters. And at one point, could shoot damn lasers. It's also heat, and I also said, already said bullet, and pressure-proof. Now, let's talk about the white dove that he symbols on that top of that helmet. That white dove symbolizes his pacifist nature. 
You gotta look it up, guys, if you don't know what pacifist means. <laughs> Anyways. Now, here's a list of characters he has fought. And this is courtesy of Comic Vine, because I could not find a whole list like this, like they did. So, here we go. Anti-Monitor. Beast Boy. Bolt. Brat Girl. Charles Eden. Chupacabra. That's interesting. Cyborg. Dick Grayson, Donna Troy, Dr. Tizen, Tiz, Tiz, I don't know how to pronounce that, Eclipso, Emiko Queen, Gorilla Greg, Mari Nicole, Megabat, Prometheus, Ratcatcher 2, Raven, Roundhouse, Sinestro, Sinister Boy Fiend, Starfire, oh that's interesting, Summer, Zahid, I don't even know what that is. Superboy Prime, Tiger, and lastly, Wally West. Okay, so now that you got the people he's fought against, let's talk about the people he's teamed up with. Now, here's the team affiliations. He's got something called Checkmate. I'm not sure if that's just the name of it itself. Shadow Fighters, the Checkmate Shadow Fighters is all in once. I have no idea. Suicide Squad, Law, L-A-W. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm sure somebody in the comment section will leave that answer. Task Forks X is also another name he was affiliated with in the team. Now, let's talk about why James Gunn chose John Cena for Peacemaker. This is just for fun. So it did, James Gunn said during an Instagram questioning why he chose John Cena for the role. And it was because of the role, get this, for Trainwreck. Now, the younger crowd, you're not gonna be able to see that movie, it's rated R, it's got a lot of inappropriate stuff. But in that movie, John Cena got a chance to play a goofy guy. Instead of the image hero he has to normally play, he got to play a really funny dude and he did a great job in it. So much so that James Gunn, it got James Gunn's attention to a point where he got him hired to do Peacemaker and then Peacemaker, now John Cena dresses around when he was doing the whole, uh, promoting the whole film and everything like that, dresses around in the whole costume of Peacemaker. It was so funny, it was so dope, such a great commitment to it. And now he's getting his own series on HBO Max. Check out the date. I'm not really for, for sure on what day that is, but I'm sure there's already been, it's been put in the trailers and I just totally spaced out on getting that info. But honestly, I think he's gonna make a great Peacemaker. I think the series is gonna be great because it's gonna be written and I think directed by James Gunn as well. So all of that good stuff. The Suicide Squad movie, I think was better than the original Suicide Squad movie that came out. That being said, this is all the facts I got about Peacemaker. Hopefully, I gave you guys enough layers about these characters. Anyways, appreciate you, No Press Fam. Catch you guys later.